All right, so we've got the tornadoes inbound. All right. Yeah, by default, this scenario is actually, uh, I found is actually really difficult to do without cheating and playing in editor mode. I mean, just using just the default F16s for this because the range is just incredibly hard and then trying to do all of that and... All right, so I'm closing in. I'm gonna have to, uh, to take out that missile battery here sooner rather than later. I'm going to zoom in on it. So it's range. So as long as I don't come into this, I believe it's this red circle. Be okay. So I've got some time before my uh, before my surface group gets there. All right. So I'm going to try and get my sub into position over here to intercept. But it's low on battery, so what I actually should do is go to creep and then come to shallow and have it snorkel. Try and get that battery repaired. Or, ref or recharge, sorry, not repaired. All right, so having trouble tracking it. My last report on it was 28 minutes ago when it was here. So it could be out to here by now. And yep, it's at periscope depth, so hopefully it'll pick up. Uh, it'll get the fix here soon. I don't want to go active with anything on it. All right. So what about so that ra that uh, radar was destroyed by the tomahawks, and I'm going to have the Macon Island and its group just take those out with tomahawks. So there goes some tomahawks. Couple of missiles, and this right here is, is an infantry unit. So motor rifle platoon, BTR 80s. That's another motor rifle platoon. That's a SAM platoon guarding that SSM launcher. So they should all, all hopefully get destroyed by the tomahawk strike. And tornadoes are inbound. And the Harriers are back. Harriers have refueled. So we'll keep them around for use against the any follow-up strikes on that frigate. Now, hang on. I want to do something. Where is the tornado? Oh, those tornadoes look like they're literally right on top of each other. There we go. There is two of them there. Okay. Wow, one tornado carries twenty carries twelve brimstone missiles. That's just nuts. So 
And I'm going to turn on the sensors on one of these to hopefully help guide those missiles in. I really do need a fix on that. Uh... on that surface ship before I can fire. We're going to send these guys over here. I don't want them in I don't want them near that island until those that missiles are missiles are taken out. So still no ESM, still no firm lock on that uh on the ship. Now, assuming this strike goes, I'm going to bring in, uh, I'm going to launch the C-130s and get them into the drop zone. All right, so Tomahawk Strike is going in. Let's slow it down. Let's actually watch this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten missiles. And probably another ten in this wave. But some of them will probably get shot down, so... All right. So the missile battery is gone. And looks like my missiles have damaged the sand platoon. And one more strike should do it. Nope, maybe one more. This one was probably targeted on the uh, now non-existent. All right. Looks like I have a follow-up launch of a couple of tomahawks, but it's now safe for my ships to move into the area. At least with what I've currently detected. And the second strike is going in. This should take out the BTRs and everything. Yep, and the BTRs. So those motor rifle platoons are gone. And still no lock on where this uh, this these frigates are. All right, got it. All right, so. Here. Oh, and we've got the second one. All right, so they're going to walk on there. We'll send the tornadoes after there. And then... And it looks like I have triggered a response, an air-to-air -air response. So how are my fighters looking? It's been a while since I've checked up on them. All right, so they're all low on fuel. But this group may be refueling. All 
All right, so they're good on fuel. So this group's good on fuel. We're going to have it go and engage those bogies. And I want to send a second group just in case. You didn't know that my uh, F-16s have been refueling. Oh, awesome. Perfect timing. My F-16s look like they're basically full on fuel. So we're going to send... So four F-16s should be should be able to take out those uh, those boke those missiles, but they're not going to get there in time to actually uh, do anything. So my Maverick strike on the first forget seems to have gone well. Next strike with the brimstones are going in. So the so two brimstones. All right, missiles are aged. All right, so that frigate is a that frigate is a kill. Oh, I lost one of my tornadoes. And lost another tornado. As it tries to kill the second frigate, but All right, so looks like my uh all right, let's get them back to base. All right, so we're gonna say we're not gonna send this group in quite yet. We have I have taken care of one of the one of the enemy vessels, and the other has turned away. But the other, but they seem to be chasing my uh, my fighters. I doubt. I highly doubt that this last Harrier is actually going to. So I've lost all. I think three of my Harriers, and I don't think this last one is going to get away before it's intercepted. I'm gonna sign. See if we can save the Harrier. All right, so we... Oh, nope, so the Harrier is saved only because the uh, the fighter decided to turn around and go and start chasing my, uh, my Tomahawks. And let's see, can my Harriers or can my F 16s get within range? Am Rams, awesome. All right, so we, the last Harrier got saved. Now, time to go and finish off that last frigate. Kind of clear the airspace. Looks like uh, I finally triggered an actual response uh, in terms of fighters. All right, so. Did my submarine get sunk? When did I lose my sub? No, losses, tornado. What the heck happened to my sub? Did I actually move it? That's really strange. My sub just up and disappeared. Um, is the stream stream? Looks like it's still streaming. Are is everybody seeing it okay? And restart it. Um, I don't remember hitting delete, but 
All right, well. Nope, it's not in a group. I wonder if I accidentally deleted it or something. Yeah, it's not showing up. That's interesting. All right. I really do need... Looks like I finally have triggered off a response. From Venezuelan fighters. Right as I actually need... Uh, all right, so we'll send this group forward. Make sure I actually was selecting the group and not the... F All right, there we go. I still do have this, this last group. I'd really would like to get that last frigate. If we send it this, I'm going to keep this group kind of on the edge of uh, patrol for the time being. Pull it back. Should probably get some more uh, fighters up. Let's launch more typhoons and let's get another couple of F-16s airborne ready arm arm these four See if the longest range cap is 85 minutes. Let's go with this one. All right, so gonna refuel the the Eurofighters, and my F-16s are retreating, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to get away. So they did turn in fire. I lost one. And I did take out one of the... All right, so I lost two of my F-16s, but I got one of the MiGs that was chasing them. And I got the other MiG, so... Alright. So it's going to be a, kind of a crapshoot if that if they're uh, able to actually make it home or not. Alright, so we'll... Alright, so I got this last group of F-16s, but I don't know if they have the range to reach to reach the tankers. But I, they have cleared the way enough, so I am going to send my tornadoes back in. Look, what this guy's doing way out here. Maybe they're flying all their their remaining jets to Columbia or something like that. And oh crap! I got more incoming. Well, now it looks like I finally have triggered off the. Uh, Triggered off a response from uh, Venezuelan air. All right. All right, let's bring these groups forward. What I really should do is, uh, in this case, is what I like to do is I just create like a rally mission. And then when I launch, I just assign uh, groups to the mission. So they'll do this whole move forward thing on their own, and then I can unassign them and all that later. But 
Alright, so... Alright, more fighters coming in. And it looks like they're, uh, they've, they're actually retreating. Alright, well, what's the feel on these ones? Um, feeling these guys are okay. Oh, looks like the KC-135 is... I really hope he's moving off station to refuel these guys and not doing and not doing something stupid. All right, now that is awesome. That is the first time I have seen this. This KC-135 has actually moved off of his patrol route or slightly off of his patrol route to meet up with my uh, my returning F-16s that wouldn't have made the uh, the tank the uh, tanker if if uh, he hadn't moved. That is awesome. I've never actually seen that happen before. Again, campaign when things just vanish in edit mode. I assume I actually deleted. Yeah, I I probably hit delete instead of uh. All right. I'd really would like to go take out that frigate. So we're gonna move. So I think the plan is I'll move the tornadoes around. And then try and come on from uh, an off angle. They've got an hour and 50 minutes of flying time. So 40 nautical hours to base or tanker. 34 minutes of flying time before their bingo. So it's an, a little iffy if they'll actually be able to... No, I should just tank these guys now. Refuel possible. Then they'll move in. If I send them in now, they're not gonna they're just not gonna make it. Alright, so but I do have some refueled F sixteens. Now one thing I, I kinda do wish and I should actually bring this up in the uh, developer is that you can see the little bars for the fuel in the units. I wish that appeared along the right hand bar and uh, just like it does when you're in unit mode. It'd be really nice to see the, the fuels for all of your units on the side. All right, so F-16s are going to go and engage. All right, we'll go and try and take out their SU-30 over here. Or no, that's not an SU-130. That is a, what is that? Maritime patrol aircraft, okay. Search and rescue, maritime surveillance, interesting. All right, well, it's going to fall prey to uh, my F-16s. Hey Mike, how's it going? And doesn't look like I'm gonna trigger any fighter response with these guys. Hate to say it, but their little bit power driven aircraft is not going to escape my uh, AMRAMs. What's going on here? Oh, my AMRAMs are just firing at nothing. Turn on your radar. See, if, there we go. Got it. All right. I should probably get these guys a little bit farther back. I shouldn't probably have them right here along the coastline. All right, so fighters are moving back. And that's missile artillery, missile SAM unit. 
Those look like more missile batteries. All right, should be noted that uh, my Tomahawks have finished eliminating the ground units that were to the north, so I think at this point I should actually get around to my actual mission here. Oh, and I forgot to move this group to full speed. Um, I should probably get my C-130s up. So, paratroopers launch individually. Now this one, in the mission briefing, it said to do where these were supposed to go. Friendly forces, mission, marks are placed for incursion in Aruba to indicate drop zones for special forces. Taking Okay, so it looks like only my uh, my one. I'm not sure what this other C-130's for then. Special victory conditions. Hmm. All right. So I'll launch that single C-130 though, and have it drop paratroopers over here on Aruba. So there's the paratrooper marker. So we do know that there's a flanker somewhere in this area. All right, so we'll send the tornadoes in. We'll bring the Eurofighters farther forward. So at this point, it looks like I have kind of a Establish more or less air superiority over the area. And my C-130 is up. Interesting to note that there's no actual um, not picking up any fire control or anything from Aruba. All right, so my paratroopers are inbound. And I think all these fire control radars and everything over here deserve a tomahawk strike. So. Um, yeah, my recon will be my paratroopers dropping in. Oh, there's a buck that spawns on a river. That's nice to know. A little kind of curious why I haven't actually uh, do a flyby with my Eurofighters. A little kind of curious why I haven't actually picked up anything there yet. I wonder if I just haven't triggered anything. Yeah, CK, I, I realize the buck can probably cover this area, but I'm going to have to uh, trigger it somehow. So, might as well trigger, might as well sacrifice a couple of uh, Euro fighters to trigger it. Rather trigger it now rather than when my uh, C 130 gets there. But if that's the case, actually. 
Um, where are the my other my other tornadoes back at base now? Three hours to ready. Can't have that. Ready now. Uh oh. So I am. Um... All right, so. All right, so my F 16's got some missiles incoming, or no, these are my uh, tornadoes have some missiles incoming on them, and they are dodging them so far. Why won't this frigate just die? And I, I mean, are these... Alright. It's going through so quickly, I can't even tell if it's, uh... My missiles are failing or missing. No, those are my AMRAMs. So many stuff over here. I can't tell which is... Uh... Alright, so let's move this group out. Alright, so I did lose one. Alright, so there we go. I've triggered the uh, the buck over here. Or no, I have not. There's a chair back over here. So that's from, there's the SA-17 Grizzlies. Over here right off the coast. I'm not sure why this, uh, this frigate just seems, are we good? Miss, miss, failure. Those are my typhoons. Tornado. My typhoons are missing, but why am I not 100% penetration achieved? So I wonder if this is if this thing is just dead and it's not registering. Let's do. Okay, that frigate's actually dead. It's just not being actually read. It's not, just not actually sunk yet. So I can get that, the last remaining tornado home.